Hey eBay sellers, it's Suzanne A. Wells. Thanks for coming back for another video. And this is a what to sell video. Something that I just recently learned about and thought that maybe you might not know what this is. Um, I've seen this stuff, but I didn't realize how expensive it was or that it was all under one brand name. So the brand is called Mackenzie Childs. And let me just read a little bit to you about um, what this brand is and how it came to be because it's a very interesting story. Mackenzie Childs was born of our love of home and our commitment to fresh innovative design. Founded in 1983, our humble beginnings started in the basement of Walcourt Hall, a building built in 1909 as a dormitory for an all-girls prep school. Several years later we moved to our present day headquarters just up the road. Our tranquil Victorian farm overlooking Cuyahoga Lake, we produce world-renowned home furnishings. Our designers and artisans have created beautiful products that add joy and grace to homes throughout the world. Colorful handmade ceramics, enamelware, glassware, furniture, and home accessories define our collection. And they actually have a farm on the property, well, because it was a farm to start with. Our unique home. As you enter the winding brick driveway, you'll know you are you are arriving at a very special place. Our dairy barn houses our production studio, where today handmade, hand decorated, majolica. I hope I'm saying that right. Pottery, furniture, and home furnishings are crafted by our talented artisans. The grounds are open to the public. Our home to sprawling gardens, a second empire farmhouse furnished with Mackenzie Child's designs that is open for tours, and a retail shop filled with our tableware, home furnishings, and gifts. And this is the grounds of where it is made. The picturesque sorry, I can't talk. The picturesque farm is also home to a small herd of Scottish Highland cattle, dozens of birds roosting in the Gothic Revival style chicken palace, a duck pond, a formal Cornell house barn, 1930s greenhouse, spectacular and ever-changing gardens, and plenty of hay fields. We enjoy the most wonderful views of Cuyahoga Lake, surrounded by the natural beauty of the rural Finger Lakes region. Overlooking the grounds is our exquisitely restored farmhouse, showcasing Mackenzie Child's designs in a variety of traditional interiors. Daily guided tours take you through 15 rooms on three floors, each on each one a design inspiration. And I'm telling you all of this because um, all of this farm life, being out in a rural area with the, the beauty around them helps to inspire the artisans to make this stuff, which is just so beautiful. So you can actually go there and tour the gardens and the farmhouse and visit their shop. So let's talk more about what this stuff is and how much money you can make if you find any. Um, what I've been seeing on Facebook obviously are the smaller pieces that you can ship. They do make furniture but uh, there is some of that on, did I say Facebook? I meant eBay. Um, <laughs> there is some of the furniture on eBay but obviously that's going to be local pickup. Um, I, sh I certainly wouldn't ship something this expensive. So let's take a look at the tabletop items that you might be finding at estate sales or um, in thrift stores. So let's see if we can sort this. I always go from high to low on price. And this brand is characterized by the black and white check. It's not on everything, but a lot of it has the uh, the check pattern. It may be black and white. That's called courtly check, or it may be other colors, but it's all hand painted. Um, there's a great video that shows the artisans working on this. I've got the link to that at the top if you want to watch just to see how this stuff is all handmade. And that's why it it's so expensive is because it is an artisan product that is handmade and um, one thing I really love about this brand is the people just love it. They love um, working on it, they love making it. Um, it just seems like a wonderful place to work where it's it's not even work for these people. They just love doing it so much. It's just a lifestyle and they just happen to get paid for it. But you can see um, the prices on 
this stuff and it's very unusual it, it has a very distinct look to it uh, it's whimsical it's um, eclectic you know they describe the brand as um, you know being very whimsical that you know they want to be different they want to stand out and that's what the artisans do is they make this stuff look um, very interesting and so it can add a lot of depth and um, you know interesting pieces to your home um, I just think it's so fun looking but like you know one mug is $135 new but you know look how unusual this mug is that's not you know if, if you saw that on a thrift store shelf you would know this is something to pick up and look at um, and apparently this is so popular it's on back order which is a great sign if you're a reseller because if there are no new ones out there they can't you know they're making them it's on back order but if you have one on eBay increase that price because it's all about supply and demand so whenever you see this on a website when you're doing your research that something is out of stock or on back order that's a signal to you to make sure you've got it priced high enough because if people can't even get it new um, they're gonna pay a good price for it used maybe even more than new if it's completely discontinued and that happens all the time so um, let's see let's pick another item here this is all just the dinnerware stuff so like here's a plate that is $88 here's a heart-shaped plate that is $98 new and then if we get into the the cookie jars is where you can really make the money let's just search for that and let's sort these by price so some of these new you know two hundred dollars but they're all handmade so there's only so many these are not factory produced so there's not going to be thousands and thousands of them as we're going to see on eBay the prices go much higher than than brand new because a lot of them aren't made anymore so that's just an introduction to what this is um, if you want to go spend some time on the site looking around so now let's go over to eBay and see what is what's there and another thing to pay attention to here is active listings for Mackenzie Childs there's only 5800 okay so this is definitely a niche um, there's not thousands and thousands of them like coach purses or Ralph Lauren um, this is a very niche item with uh, a limited amount on eBay and let's see if we go to the pottery section here's some more pieces like this one is now these are active listings we're gonna look at completed in a minute so this one is um, it's called pink honeymoon and it is discontinued it's rare retired um, that's what they call it when they stop making something is retired like Vera Bradley has retired patterns Yankee Candle has retired um, so they just don't make it anymore so th this person is asking eighteen hundred ninety five dollars for this set of three pieces I mean if you saw that at an estate sale um, you know for 25 bucks a piece you know you definitely grab that to resell so here's some more pieces here you can see again that courtly check um, this stuff is just it's easily identified that's what I like about these kinds of brands is it's gonna jump out off the shelf at you you don't have to sit there and look up every single thing now you know after seeing this video that when you see this black and white check it could be Mackenzie Child so it's time to stop and look that up or like this one here that has the multicolor you know very whimsical Harlequin pattern the stripes um, the several different patterns together on one piece that's it's almost clashes and it just looks kinda of quirky but that's what makes it expensive so now if we go back to where we started and we look at completeds which is where you should be looking when you do your research um, oops I meant sold so let's look at sold we've got 8,000 sold now remember there was only 5,800 active so it's got an incredible sell-through rate um, if you look at it comparing how many are active versus how many are sold 
um, from what I understand, this stuff sells really fast because there, there's just not that much of it out there. So let's go to the pottery section again and look at some of these items and what they sold for. And let's just look for cookie jars because those are what I'm seeing on the Facebook group. So, you know, here's a cookie jar that sold for $360. Here's the same one, well, kind of the same style. It says best offer accepted. So we don't know. I'm not going to stop and look that up, but I'm sure it was, was close. Um, oops. This is the pedestal cookie jar. This is the morning glory pattern. Again, you can see the checkerboard design on that. It's, it's cool to watch that video of how they make this stuff and how they do that checkerboard design. They just paint it on with a paintbrush. Um, here's this Morning Glory again, 20250 This little uh, canine cookie jar sold for $198. Um, here's another cookie jar, $169. And what I'm seeing on the Facebook group is people are finding the stuff at estate sales and at thrift stores. So, um, and, and you don't know, you might find it at a garage sale. Somebody's mother-in-law could have given it to them and they, they don't like this. They don't this doesn't match their kitchen. They don't want it and they just stick it in a garage sale for 10 bucks. You just never know. Um, people give away valuable stuff all the time because they have no clue what it's worth. So let's look at one more. Um, the salt and peppers also go for a lot. So these are just so adorable. Um, so here's that courtly check salt and pepper. Um, it's sold for $210. I mean, that just blows my mind that salt and pepper shakers would sell for that much, but it's the collectors and it's the fact that this stuff is, um, it's handmade. So, oh, this is pretty, a, um, it's like a cake plate, uh, you put hors d'oeuvres on it, I forget the name of it. Um, they're calling it a sweet stand. Okay, so anyway, I just wanted to bring this brand to your attention. Again, it is called Mackenzie Childs. Take a look at that on eBay and watch for this out in your thrift stores and at estate sales. And hopefully you can make some money on that. Would love to hear from you if you have found it and sold it and how you did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day on eBay. Bye.